Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a no-knead cranberry walnut bread. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe. I post new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So let's get started. To make the dough, in a large bowl, add in the flour. You can use all-purpose or bread flour. Yeast and salt. Don't pour the salt directly on top of the yeast or the salt will kill the yeast. And mix them until they're combined. Then add in the cool water. It should be around 70 degrees, which is not cold and not warm. And mix them until they're combined and a dough forms. Then add in the dried cranberries and chopped walnuts and mix them in until they're well distributed throughout the dough. Then wrap it tightly in plastic wrap and let it rest at room temperature for 18 to 24 hours and it will develop great flavor and texture over that time, and this long resting time is what takes place of kneading the dough. When it has rested, it will have formed a lot of air bubbles, and it will have a strong sour aroma to it, kind of like sourdough bread. Lightly flour the work surface. Place the dough onto the floured surface. Stretch and fold it a few times. Then pull the edges underneath and shape it into a smooth ball. Line a medium bowl with a clean, smooth kitchen towel and liberally flour it. Make sure it's well floured. You can always brush off flour if there's too much, but if there's not enough, the dough will stick to the towel. Place the dough top sides down into the bowl. Cover it in plastic wrap. And let it rise in a warm place for one and a half to two hours until it just about doubles in size. About 30 minutes before the dough is ready, preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Place a stone pan into the oven while it's preheating so it gets nice and hot. And place a cast iron pan into the oven on the rack below it so it gets hot as well. Once the dough has risen, line the back of a sheet pan with parchment paper. Then turn the dough out onto the pan. Carefully remove the towel. Brush off the excess flour. And place the bread into the oven on top of the hot stone pan. Just use the parchment paper to slide it onto the pan. Then take one cup of hot water and pour it into the hot cast iron pan. It will create a lot of steam and give the bread a nice crisp crust and chewy inside. Close the oven immediately so the steam doesn't escape and bake it for about 30 minutes until it's nicely browned and it reaches an internal temperature of 190 degrees or above. When it's done, remove it from the oven. Just slide the bread back onto the sheet pan and let it cool for at least 15 minutes. And you can serve it still warm or at room temperature. And that's how to make a no-need cranberry walnut bread. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give this video a like and check out my channel for many more videos and subscribe to my channel for more to come. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.